Welcome to our channel, friend. God bless you abundantly. We are diving into a powerful topic, spiritual warfare. This isn't just a concept from ancient times. It is a daily reality for believers. As we see in the story of Moses and Aaron confronting Pharaoh, the enemy resists when God's people seek freedom. Spiritual battles are not just historical events. They are ongoing struggles that we face in our lives today. Ephesians 6 verse 12 reminds us, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. The devil and his forces are always working against God's people. But the good news is that God equips us with power to fight back. We all go through times when we feel oppressed, held captive, or spiritually stuck. The enemy seeks to bind us much like Pharaoh held the Israelites in bondage. Pharaoh's question, who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? Exodus 5 verse 2 reflects the rebellious nature of the spiritual forces at work against us. They do not recognize God's authority and work to keep us in spiritual chains. You may feel trapped in cycles of sin, depression, anxiety, or other strongholds. But know this, God sees you and he desires to set you free. God wants us to worship him freely. He told Pharaoh, Let my people go that they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness. Exodus 5 verse 1 Worship and service to God are our highest callings, but the enemy works tirelessly to keep us from this purpose. The devil, much like Pharaoh, does not want to see you break free. He will use every tactic, from spiritual bondage to the enticements of this world, to keep you from God's best. But God's desire is to break every chain and release you into the fullness of his purpose. When you decide to pursue God wholeheartedly, expect resistance. Pharaoh didn't just let the Israelites go, he increased their burdens. Likewise, spiritual wickedness often intensifies when you draw closer to God. But this is not the time to give up. Scripture teaches us to resist the devil and he will flee. James 4 verse 7 The only language the enemy understands is resistance. This means standing firm in prayer, declaring God's promises, and refusing to bow to the pressures that seek to pull you away from God's presence. Ephesians 6 verse 10 to 18 outlines the full armor of God, our divine equipment for spiritual warfare. Belt of Truth Hold on to God's truth in a world full of lies. Breastplate of Righteousness Live uprightly, protected by the righteousness of Christ. Shoes of peace. Be ready to share the gospel and walk in peace, even in conflict. Shield of faith. Use your faith to block the enemy's attacks of doubt, fear, and temptation. Helmet of salvation. Guard your mind knowing that you are saved and secure in Christ. Sword of the Spirit, wield the word of God. It is your offensive weapon against the lies of the enemy. Prayer, pray vigilant and pray continually. Prayer is the key that unlocks God's power in your battles. Though the battle is fierce, the outcome is assured. The Lord will humiliate the enemy as he did with Pharaoh. 
turning his schemes into his downfall. When we bring our struggles to God and stand in faith, God moves mightily on our behalf. As Psalm 124 verse 7 says, We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. We serve a God who breaks chains, opens prison doors, and sets captives free. Spiritual warfare is real, but so is the power of God to deliver. No matter what stronghold you are facing, God's power is greater. Today, let us commit to standing firm, putting on the full armor of God, and resisting every tactic of the enemy. The Lord has already won the victory. We just need to stand our ground and claim it in Jesus' name. With this understanding of spiritual warfare, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you acknowledging that you are my deliverer. I recognize the spiritual battles surrounding me and I ask for your divine intervention. Break every chain of oppression and set me free from every bondage of the enemy. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment I shall condemn. Thank you, Lord, for setting me free. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I put on the full armor of God today. I guard myself with the belt of truth and put on the breastplate of righteousness. I fit my feet with the readiness of the gospel of peace, and I take up the shield of faith to extinguish all the fiery dust of the enemy. I wear the helmet of salvation and wield the sword of the Spirit, which is your word. Lord, equip me to stand firm against every attack of the enemy, in Jesus' name. Lord, strengthen me in the power of your might. Help me to resist the devil and to stand firm in my faith. When I feel weak, remind me that your grace is sufficient. I stand on your promises, believing that you will fight my battles. I declare that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me, in Jesus' name. Almighty God, I pray for your divine protection over my life. Guard my mind my heart, and my spirit from every attack of the enemy. Surround me with your angels and cover me with your precious blood. I cancel every assignment of the enemy against me, my family, and my ministry. Let your righteous judgment fall upon every force of darkness working against my life. In Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for the victory that is already mine through Christ Jesus. I declare that I will not be moved by the schemes of the enemy, but I will stand firm, rooted in your word. I speak freedom, deliverance, and breakthrough over my life. Let every chain be broken, and let every yoke be destroyed. I claim the victory, and I give you all the glory, honor, and praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.